Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, then welcome to my channel. So I upload every single Tuesday, and I've been doing that for, I don't know, like the last year and a half or so. So I just really wanted to start it off and say if you are interested in vlogging and random crafting and recipes and cleaning and just like a bunch of random crap of my daily life then please leave me a like and subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate it we've been very slowly growing but i appreciate everybody that's here and yeah so this vlog is going to be a little exciting i'm personally very excited because we're going to do some fall decorating i have a brand new fall or Christmas. I got two versions of it. Iced coffee recipe that is so good. You guys, this is the best one yet. I swear it is so good. And tomorrow we are going to be unboxing Just Trish merch and the new Sabrina Carpenter short and sweet vinyl. So I'm so excited. This is going to be such a good vlog and I... I just cannot wait. So first off, we're gonna start off with that coffee recipe. Okay, so we're gonna use my favorite little iced coffee cup. You guys have seen this a hundred times. I love her. And this is so, so good. So we're doing no sugar or anything. This, I would love real maple syrup, but right now I just have this all natural table syrup from Long Cabin and it's actually um, brown rice syrup, but it tastes really good. But you can use regular maple syrup and I'm just gonna do like a little, I mean, you can do however much you want. Like you're just gonna have to play with the amount, but I just do like that much in the bottom. <laughs> and then I go ahead and you can use any coffee you want. This one is a butterscotch Starbucks coffee. And I just fill this up like halfway. And then I get my little frother and I go ahead and mix this up. Okay, so then from here, I add my milk. I always use the Chobani Extra Creamy, and then I see if I need to add more coffee to enhance it. Here's where the optional part comes in. So this is a great fall coffee, but we're gonna add, I've been loving this little addition. Again, this is optional. So this makes it feel like Christmas to me, whereas plain maple feels like fall. So I'm just gonna do literally a little sprinkle of that cinnamon. And then we have nutmeg, and I'm literally gonna do a tiny drop. Ooh, I did a little too much. Hopefully, <laughs> so tastes good. And I'm gonna go ahead and mix it again. Okay. So again, the seasonings are optional. This is so so good. Just plain maple, honestly. And I like a sweet coffee. Oh, not bad. So now I add the milk, and then I mix it again. And then I usually add a little bit more coffee. The nutmeg and the cinnamon really, to me, makes this taste so like Christmas, which I love. I'm so in the fall spirit, you guys. I thought I wasn't, but I don't know. I cleaned my house and I was like, it's time to decorate for fall. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So I'm just going to do a little bit more coffee. A little bit more milk. And then we're going to top it off with some ice. So if you wanted to, I think it'd be so cute to make it like really festive and put like some whipped cream on top of this with the little cinnamon. Oh my gosh, it would look so cozy. I'm so excited to drink this all December in preparation for Christmas. And right now in the fall, I just wanted to show you the extra seasonings because it is really good as well. But for fall, I'm definitely gonna be doing the maple combo. And I also have the Tarani syrups and like the caramel and the vanilla is really good with this too. It's all really, really good. Just makes you so happy. I honestly have been liking making my coffee at home so much more than anywhere else. Like once I started trying these new recipes and stuff and not just like plain boring iced coffee. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And like, it's not that bad. Like there's no sugar in this or anything it's just syrup and it tastes like a starbucks drink and i have been really trying to like be a little bit healthier um i'm not always perfect but i do try so i like to do honeys and random things um and the syrup is just a really great fall thing and i'm not like a syrup girly or a cinnamon one to be honest but honestly it tastes really really good like i think you should really try this i haven't tried the syrup and hot coffee 
but I'm sure it's good too. It's so good. And syrup is like a natural sweetener, same as honey. So it's just like a healthier alternative. And yeah, if you guys try the recipe, let me know. So we are about to fall decorate, but I realized that I forgot to tell you guys with the coffee, I completely forgot. I do salt as well. It's like a maple salted coffee. I don't know why I forgot, but yeah, so we are going to decorate. So I'm going to show you the before and then I'll show you what we have to decorate with. So I don't have a ton of decorations either, but so this is like the standard layout. Um, we need two blankets because me and my boyfriend are always arguing over which blanket to use. So I think we're gonna get rid of this one. Definitely, we'll just go ahead and throw these to the side. But definitely these. We might keep the green and the striped corduroy, I don't know, um, but this can go, and I don't know about the yellow. The blanket? I don't know yet. We'll throw this to the side, but it definitely is still fall. And then turning around, so the couch is right here. We have my coffee table. Oh, my little basket's out a little. So, coffee table. And then this is the current TV stand setup. So we have our, this is a little record player. So that's her. And then we have my LED flameless candles we have this turtle bowl um and then we have our lamb so really i'm just going to try to decorate around the tv stand mainly and maybe put a few pumpkins here i did crochet some stuff you guys so i'll show you those now i just woke up a nap from a nap so that's why i look <laughs> crazy um so the first thing i crocheted it's not that great I, this is my first time making this and it's supposed to be a ghost um its arms are very different and lopsided but yeah, this is supposed to be a ghost. And then I crocheted this pumpkin. I would like to do more, but um, for now, this is what I have. And I think they are cute together. And then I have a bunch of pumpkins from Target last year. So we have this plaid one, which I really like actually. Um, and it's like fluffy. I have two of the sage green velvet pumpkins. These are all from Target. I have a boucle white one, which is cute. We've got the dark orange velvet. I wish I had like this color because this pumpkin is so much cuter I feel like. We have the wicker pumpkin which I also love. So I'm thinking of putting some of these on my coffee table as well. Um, we have like a navy blue velvet one which not even navy I don't know. It's almost like a gray blue. I don't know about it honestly. And then my cats messed up these but two more boucle. We can try to set them up so they're not so ugly maybe. And I don't know if we can do anything with these, but I have these Christmas ornaments that are like mushrooms. And I thought maybe they'd be cute somewhere. <laughs> um, if not, then that's fine. Um, and then for the couch, I have, I showed you guys all this last year. If you're not new here, I have this orange blanket and it just has like flowers on it. I really like floral. So it was really cool to find like a fall blanket I felt I could use for that. And then this was a two pack of pillows from TJ Maxx. This one I love. I wish I had came with two of these because I think this is literally so cute. I love like a linen texture and it's so comfy and it's like bigger than my other throw pillows. But the second pillow it came with is the striped one and like, I don't know, it's giving patio furniture. Like I don't understand the pairing. I don't get it. But this is what we have to decorate the couch with. So yeah, we'll just have to play around and maybe I can even do like a different pillow placement because right now I do like the even amount of pillows on each side, but maybe it would look better if these two were actually on the same side. I don't know. Well, let's see. feeling this arrangement but this is that blanket that I told you about and then we have the green velvet pillow back there the corduroy and the pumpkin let me know just leave me comments what you think this should look like it's probably this area that's the issue and maybe it's even like the yellow like maybe we need to get rid of her is that better I feel like that might be a lot better let me grab this okay 
let me know if I should keep this yellow pillow and if there's any different way I should organize those. But I guess for now, this is gonna be it. So I'm just gonna toss that to the side. Now I need to put those somewhere. So I'm not really happy with what we've got, but I don't know, man. If you have any suggestions, let me know. But I have my coasters. These are supposed to look like flowers. I They used to be much fluffier, but you know, I use them. So I just put a wicker one there and the boucle one there. Um, over here, we've got my little pumpkin and ghost that I made. And then we have our little pumpkins here. And then I just threw some down there because <laughs> I have so many. And over on the bookshelf, I didn't really change anything because all of this stuff is just like here, but I did throw some pumpkins up there. So when you walk in, I mean, there's some pumpkins. This is like the whole overview. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> my ring lights on the couch, my bed. It's okay. I don't know. <laughs> I was supposed to get my Sabrina album and do a stretch blanket today, but it's not really looking like that's gonna happen. Um, I don't know, we'll see. I might get it later tonight, but it really doesn't look like it. So I will unbox that for you guys tomorrow. Yeah, so my little sad fall decor, let me know. I just, I think I would like it so much more if I had two of those pumpkin pillows, cause I just love them so much. I don't know. I'm completely blending in with the couch. <laughs> okay, so I will see you guys when I get my packages, which I'm super excited about, so. And let me know, are you guys fall decorating right now or did I jump the gun? Let me know. While we're here, I guess we can address um, that I trimmed my little bangs um, that you guys saw when my hair was up. I just trimmed like the face framing bits, so. Yeah, now I look a little bit more like there's something happening. <laughs> um, they're not styled, so yeah, that is what they look like. So, so far, no packages yet. <laughs> we might have to wait till tomorrow. So I put on my comfy clothes and put my hair up. I'm about to cook dinner. I'm pressing tofu under there right now. I'm gonna do tofu um, katsu with the Japanese curry. So yeah, I'm just gonna make this really quick. I don't feel like showing you guys the process. It's like, it's really hard to film you guys with cooking and stuff. <laughs> it's a lot of moving tripods and when you have dirty hands, like I'm gonna be breading the tofu. It's too much, but I will show you the final product because it looks so cute and it's really, really good. It's a really good easy meal. So yeah, I'll show you guys the final product. guys so this is gonna be the end of the vlog but really quick I just want to end it with showing you that I got my just Trish package and I did a whole boxing unboxing over on my TikTok so if you want to see all the really cute details you can see that there because it came in pink packaging and it had cute just Trish stickers that were pink and it had really cute tags all of that's over there so I'll leave that link down below so you can see that but I absolutely love it so it is for and double lined and if you watch the just trish podcast it's you know this is like her background so some people are using this as a tapestry to kind of match that and it feels so good i don't know how to explain it because like it's different than my other throw blankets back there it's also a really good size so i'll stand up and show you that in a minute but it, i don't know how to explain it but it makes me feel like medieval it's like it feels like a bear you know those bear rugs like i don't know it just gives me that vibe but like i really like it and it's very, very warm. It is technically like a little thin, I guess, but the fabric is so soft that it's not like thin in a bad way. Like it's pretty, pretty warm. Like I kind of feel like I'm in Alaska. Like it's definitely a winter blanket. And yeah, so it just looks like this. And then it does have, which I think is so cute, this little just Trish tag on it. So it is so many details. It's so cute. I love it. I'm so happy that I got this and I'm hoping to get her hoodie in the next drop because this is some cute merch. I don't normally buy merch that much. I only have like Sabrina Carpenter's merch, but 
this stuff is really really good and I've watched her for 12 years so I was like you know I deserve some merch no matter the price I must get this and I'm so happy that I did it is so cozy and I am gonna go take a nap with this so thank you guys so much for watching let me know if you got any of the Trish merch or if you watch her I would love to know because yeah I've watched her literally since I was 13 years old and I'm now turning 25 this year so it'd be cool if you guys also watch her I hope you enjoyed this vlog if you did make sure you leave me a like you can talk to me down in the comments down below and subscribe so you see next week's video I upload vlogs every single Tuesday so I'll see you next Tuesday bye guys